Good morning, gang. It's Saturday, the 2nd of September. 2017 a warm welcome along to this morning's of uh, this afternoon's we're a bit late today this afternoon's united kingdom talk now you're probably wondering why i'm wearing this today i'm in preparation boys and girls i'm in preparation for my um for my visit next saturday to last night of the proms oh yeah There's more, there's more. I'm reading. I love to print off the words and take them with me. <laughs> yes, I'm very much. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I've managed to get hold. Uh, a, a, a very good friend of mine has managed to get hold of two tickets for last night at the proms. Now I'm hoping to go with my mate Rom. However, he's not. He's not well at all at the moment. He's got a really nasty chest infection. Nas- no, not nice. He's got a really nasty chest infection. Quite bad actually. Um, so it may be that I've got to look for someone else. Now, I've got to use these tickets because the person who, who, who got them for me, who will remain nameless, you know, I, I don't know if he, he would want me to tell you who it is or not, but he's like, he works there and they get certain concessions, you see. Now, if if those tickets are not collected, he will move down the list next time that they have tickets available. So it may be, it may be that next Thursday... I said to my mate, I, I really need to know by Thursday because it's not fair on him, you see, to not use the tickets. Um, it may be that on Thursday I am on air and I say, does anyone want to come with me on Saturday? So be ready for that. OK, I don't know. Oh, I, no, it's not. Th- yes. It, would it be Thursday? No, Friday. Thursday? Thursday. Thursday, I, I don't know if, where I'm going to be with you next week because I'm away on holiday, OK? Uh, certainly be with you Friday, I would have thought. So maybe Friday, maybe Friday, Friday morning. I'll do a fri- show Friday morning. And if my mate's not well enough, we will have to find someone else to go with. So that could be you. You could be on my arm. How excited are you? Yes, land up. So start learning the words. You never know, boys and girls. Let's say hello to some of our early people this morning. Good morning to Gustav, who says, morning. What a good night last night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But I have to ask, did you need to be so viciously verbal attack your poor, delightful, sexy Colin? This rabid act of heterophobia was deeply disturbing. (laughs) Thank you, Gustav. Good morning to you. Very disappointed that you should say to me as I walk in, have you put on a bit of weight again? Now, you know how damaging that can be. You know it because you've been there. Very, very surprised at you, Gustav, for mentioning my weight, which has not increased. No. Uh, Good morning to Titania. Good morning, darling, who says we are sunbathing on our patio. Whereabouts are you, darling? To to Tatiana. Tatiana, whereabouts are you? Sunbathing on your patio. Are you away in in Spain, España or somewhere beautiful like that? Here with her flatmate, uh, Nathalie. So hello to you both. Hope you enjoy our little show this morning. Good morning to Rod Brown. Tony Powell's there this morning. Morning, Tony. Diane, lovely Diane. Oh, you're not first today, Diane. How disappointing. You're not first with the messages today. What have you been doing, dear, to not be first? Uh, William's there. Greetings from Sydney. I was just uh, sent uh, uh, William a little message. Uh, yesterday, actually, while I was watching the uh, uh, watching the end of the film, Theory of Everything, which is about Stephen Hawking's life so far, you know, so far, because, of course, he's still with us. He's still with us when he was a boy uh, and he 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 got that. um, Molecular. Oh, God, molecular. What is uh, I'm so sorry. Is it molecular muscle, some molecular muscle disease that he's got, isn't he? So he's in a wheelchair. Uh, and he can't talk properly. He's got a, a little box attached to his uh, thing. But it's an excellent film. 
It's a really good film. When he was a little boy, he was told he only had two weeks to live. No, sorry, two years, up to two years. Well, he's still here. Is he? Is in? I think he's in his eighties now, isn't he? Early seventies, early eighties, somewhere around that. Wonderful film. Please watch it. Theory of Everything with Stephen Hawkins. Anyway, while I was watching it, and you know, you kind of expect it on some of the smaller TV channels like um, ITV Two, Sky. Well, I consider you know, all the Sky channels are, are kind of small channels, aren't they? I mean, it may cost you an arm and a leg to watch the sports, but there's not as many people who've got Sky. I wonder how many people they lose every time they put up the prices of their sports packages. You ever thought about that? It's very expensive, Sky Television, if you have everything, isn't it? It really is. I don't have any subscription television at all. I'm luck. I've got my sister's password for net Netflix, which apparently is allowed. You're allowed to share Netflix passwords with family. I looked it up on the Internet. Did you see that? Because what tends to happen, only one person can watch it at a time. That's the thing. So if she's watching something at her house, I can't watch anything. You know, I've got to wait till late at night or whenever she's not on. So that kind of works very well. Um, but uh, uh, going back, going back to the film there. You know, when, when it's like end of part one, well, you don't get any of that now. So the film's playing, and all of a sudden, bang, we'll be back soon. It's like no fade out, no end of part one, and it's almost rude. I, I feel, I feel, I feel that that that, that it's rude. You know, it, it'd be like me suddenly uh, 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 chatting away to you, right? Uh, I can do it. I can actually do this. Just a minute now. One moment, please. One moment, that's that. Cut. That's it. Right. So it would be like me chatting away and then halfway through the sentence. And nothing. You see, it's just I just feel there should be like an end of part one or at least a fade out. It just bang and it's gone. And then the adverts come on. Awful. Anyway, watch that film, The Theory of Everything, and good morning to uh, William today. Ah, uh, Daniel, Danny's there. Good morning, Danny. I see that you've got a date next week, dear. Good luck with that, my love. Good luck with that. You see, there are desperate people in the world that will go out with you. I knew you'd find some... No one is desperate enough to try and go out with me, but... Uh... <laughs> Good afternoon, Shania. Uh, Tatiana, oh, Forest Hill, I beg your pardon. I thought it was in Spain or somewhere like that. It is a beautiful day out there. Oh, it's beautiful. I've already been out and done all my stuff today. Oh, yes. Got up this morning, had my breakfast, uh, jumped on my bicycle. A beautiful bicycle. Web. It was a little bit cold at around about half past nine this morning, so I did put my coat on and I cycled down. First, I went to the bank. Uh, walked in the door, was very disappointed to see Miss No Personality on the desk. You know, <laughs> I'm sure you know people like that. Like she she sits there. Honestly, she's a little fat thing. She is. She sits there on 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 the computer, and I I I breeze. I and I do. I breeze in. I breeze in. Good morning, morning. And that's that's all she does. And when you try and open a conversation with her, it's one word answers. So have you been all right? Yes, thank you. They're not long now till we'll be opening the shopping centre. No. You going away on holiday this year? No, not really. Okay, well, bye-bye then. Bye-bye, sir. It's <laughs> no personality whatsoever. Why are there people... And she was on the front desk this morning. There's another lady in there, thin and tall. Uh, she's about... It doesn't matter about her age, uh, she, uh, but she's always very pleasant. She's always got this big smile on her on her face, the lady in the bank. And you can see she's got quite a few crowns on the front teeth, which is to say, OK, makes her look good. And she always smiles and have a conversation. This little fat thing that sits there on the front desk. Oh, Christ. Why are these people? She should be in the back room doing photocopying. Those people. Not good for being in contact with the public. Huh? Uh, good afternoon to Matthew. Good morning, Matthew Joplin, who's enjoying, I will enjoy my little holiday. It's only three, the funny thing is, it's only three days, Matt. I'm only going away for like, well, four days, three nights. That's it. That's it. And all this packing you have to do, you know, worrying, worrying. You know, I, yesterday I got the case out yesterday, uh, chucked in a few socks, a few old T-shirts, some tracky bottoms, a pair of jeans, 
A couple of t uh, we've done the t-shirts, haven't we? <laughs> Bit of money. It's all in the case ready. And of course, being I, I do caravan holidays, self catering. I've got a bag of food downstairs as well. I always manage to take too much food. I have to bring it all back again. No waste of time that is. So that's where I've been this morning. Uh, down to the bank. Then I popped into Ryman's. Nice man who works in Ryman's. Don't know his name. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Comes over and we start a conversation. What were we talking about today? Um, I, all I was doing there was buying a couple of padded envelopes. Because, uh, I don't know if I told you this, one of my radio mics is broken. The, the button doesn't work anymore. So I went on eBay. I can get all this stuff on eBay dirt cheap usually. Went on eBay and I picked one up for £80. So it arrived, and it looks exactly the same. Why well, have I got these on my head? It looks exactly the same as the one it was replacing. Um, and I didn't check it. I took it to work, switched it on. The little green light came on, but the receiver can't see it. I thought, oh, so I've changed the channels on it. No, nope, nothing. Oh, no. I think I'll take the thing apart, put another battery in. The green light's coming on. So there's green light on that and there's a like a green light on the receiver. And they both come on. They're talking to each other. Nope, the one on the receiver's not coming on, so I've come back. I'm like, oh, God. And um, I emailed the bloke on eBay who came back to me very, very quickly. And he said, I don't understand it. He said it was working when I tried it at the weekend. Slight cosmetic damage on the microphone. That's OK. That's not going to affect the function of it. Anyway, I wonder if it's on a different frequency. So I undid the microphone and there's a little label in there. I've got it here somewhere. One minute. Here it is. Look. One minute. Where is it? Here it is. I'll show it to you. Uh, oh, no, that's not. That's that's the broken one. That's the broken one. But they, they've got a label inside. They're nine. They've got a label inside, you see, right there. And it's got a frequency uh, written on it. And um, that's that is the eBay one. Yeah, that is the eBay one. That is the eBay eBay one. And uh, it's a different frequency. So unfortunately, I've got to send the thing back again. And um, I don't know where I'm going to get another replacement. Really, these things that they don't come up on eBay that often because they're very specific. I didn't realise it looks exactly the same as the one I've got. Yet it's on a different frequency, so I can't use that. Of course, I, I'm sure he'll he'll take it back and process the refund. And you'll put the blooming thing in the post box, and you've got to get a stamp. Oh, I hate sending stuff back. Don't you? I mean, going down the shops is a great thing. It, it, you know, there's a lot to be said for going down the shops. Talking of which, a new shopping centre opens on Thursday. Oh, yes. The Lexicon in Bracknell is opening. There's such a buzz around the new shopping centre. Restaurants. There's a new Cinemex. Cinemex? Cinema? Ma, ma, cinema? Cinema? Cine, what cinema is it? I don't know. But they've got comfortable seats and all that. We've got an Odeon. Not very comfortable in there. You know, I don't find the Odeon very comfortable. We've got a showcase cinema in Winnersh, which is a car drives away. Now, that's really comfortable. All seats that go back and all that. And lovely. Oh, that's lovely. And I think the new one in Bracknell is going to be a bit like the one in Winnersh with comfortable seats that go backwards and you can relax and all that. So I don't know what happened to the Odeon, whether that will stay, because uh, that would be very close to the new one. I, I, I have a feeling that one will close. But it's all opening. Uh, Marks and Spencers, they opened early. They're already open. We've got a Phoenix. We've got a massive Primark, massive Primark, all sorts of restaurants and bits and pieces. So that's all happening on Thursday. I won't be here for that. Mind you, I don't think I'll be going for the first weekend. You can just imagine, can't you? People will be poor. I'm dreading the roads. I'm dreading the roads. Oh, can't wait. Oh, we've got some new shops. No, same shops that you can find anywhere else, to be honest. You could go to Reading or Slough or London. And that's that's the only thing with these shopping centres. Lakeside, Blue Water, wherever one you go in, they're all the same shops. You know? And I, I, I'm, I've been, me and my mate have been guilty of this. Oh, let's go to John Lewis in London today. Well, it's no different to the one in Reading or anywhere else. <laughs> and we, we actually actively seek out Waitroses that we haven't been to as well. Honestly, 
On my life, we seek out waitresses. I'll open the phone line, by the way, as well, if you want to call in at some point, okay? 0208 344 That's open now if you want to call in. 0208 We've got a Skype in as well. If you've got Skype, the Skype username is United Kingdom Talk. United Kingdom Talk, all one word. Oh, news of a new show. I'll give that to you as well in a minute. Uh, so there we are. Yeah, so it doesn't matter where you are. We actively seek out waitroses that we haven't been to. And you go, and it's exactly the same stuff. Okay, so the biscuits might be in a different place to the to the milk that they are in the one that you're usually in. But it's all the same stuff. Isn't that strange that we want to go to a different waitrose? Or a different pizza? I mean, there's slightly different laid out, but it's all the same stuff in there, isn't it? Like McDonald's. McDonald's. Wherever you go in McDonald's, it's exactly the same. But we like we like doing that. We like going for stuff that we normally like, don't we? Hmm. Uh, greetings to James Clark. Blazer for last night at the proms. Correct, James. I'm testing it out today. This was actually a gift from uh, a very good friend of mine, uh, Mary. You will know her on the karaoke as non-Irish Mary from Ireland, who wasn't there last night. She's not very well. Actually, two of them are not well at the moment. Um, uh, DJ Chris. If you ever watch our karaoke streams, DJ Chris has got a bit of a sore throat or a cold. And uh, Mary has got virtually no voice whatsoever, you know, which wouldn't be so bad in my case. I wouldn't be able to talk to you. You know, I'd have to learn sign language. I could get one of those little boxes like Stephen Hawkins have got in that film Theory of Everything, couldn't I? Hello, how are you? I wonder if that would work with a chat show. I don't see why not. I could attach myself to one of those. Mm. Uh, Daryl, good morning, Daryl. Who's blaming me for my hang his hangover last night? Well, that's your own fault, Daryl. Dear, no one held you down on the floor and forced it into your mouth, did they? The drink. No, no one did. You sat there quite happily with your hand, picking up the glasses and drinking it down, didn't you, my friend? Eh? Nope. I don't remember anyone forcing you down onto the floor. It's not like a night of chariots, dear. Greetings, Daryl. Get well soon. James says, I want to hear you singing the anthem at the top of your voice. What the, um, uh, the, what, what the national anthem? Oh, no, dear. We, we've already done Land of Open Glory, James. Have you only just joined us? That was right at the beginning of the show. You've missed it. We've done that. We've done that. That's the whole idea of the five minute countdown, you see. Gives you five minutes to join the show. So at the beginning, bang, you're there and we start. You don't miss anything, James. Why are you so late today? Please send in a note from your parents. Thank you. Greetings to Eric Moore. Good morning, Eric, who says, Do you enjoy mince pies as much as I do? I think they're wonderful. No, I hate them. I hate mince pies, Eric. I, <laughs> I really do hate mince pies. I mean, if, I, if you was to give me a mince pie, so that I'm not rude, I would break off the pastry, possibly, and eat that. But not the mince pie. I think they're disgusting. Actually, I don't like mince pies... Uh, Christmas cake I don't like. I don't, and Christmas pudding is just the vilest thing ever. How people can sit there after that massive dinner and stuff their faces full of that is beyond me. Christmas is going to make no difference at all to my Slimming World membership. I've, I can't wait till after Christmas. They'll all be in there, won't they, weighing. Oh, you've put on four pounds. Oh, you've put on a stone. Oh, you've put on two pounds. Chris? You've lost one and a half pounds. That will be me. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> I may allow myself one or two roast potatoes on Christmas Day. I think I might be doing that. Eric says, what do the British think about the Irish? What a stupid question, Eric. We love you. And you love us, I think. Come on. If two countries weren't more attached than then the British and the Irish, I don't know who is. I am. I, I have a tiny little bit of Irish. I like anything in me, to be honest. I have a tiny little bit of Irish in me. My nan was a Ryan and I'm a Reardon. Although, as you probably... Are you Irish, Eric? As you probably notice, it's, I think, Reardon, the way mine spelled is the English kind of version of it. Yes, but uh, my nan was a, a Ryan and she was a Reardon before she was a Ryan. Um, she, she's not around. She died... Uh, oh, gosh... 15, 20 years ago now. She was wonderful. She was, she was a propish, uh, proper Irish nan. She was at church every day of the week. 
Nanny Ryan. Oh, wonderful lady. So, yes, of course, what a silly question. We love you. I think you love, I hope you love us. <laughs> yes. Uh, James says Waitrose near us is having a, a, having a regeneration, a self-service petitionary sushi counter. Oh, not sushi. Oh, how can you sit there and eat uncooked fish? It, it, that stuff is disgusting. They're all doing it. We've got one here. We've got a, a sushi counter in the Waitrose here. And even the Sainsbury's has copied now. They've got one in there as well. And it's popular. You know, they're queuing up to fill their little tummies with uncooked fish. Oh, it's vile. It it looks very nice. And it all comes in little, little plastic packets, doesn't it? Well, that can't be very good for the environment, can it? God. No, not for me, Sushi. No. Scotty says, I've missed us. I have. Oh, you know I miss you, Scotty. Why? Have you said something? Have I missed, a, have I missed something? Hang on a minute. Have I missed a message from you, Scotty? That does happen. Ah, oh, there we are. Kiora. Chris from me and her his fiance in New Zealand. Scotty's getting married. Scotty I used to work with at um at uh, uh, Belushi's in London Bridge. We had some fantastic nights there. I miss that job. I miss that job. The only thing is, Scotty, you know, if I went back there now, I, I actually sent them a little message uh, a few weeks ago. Because they're having a refit. Uh, there is a bloke who does it Monday, but they don't do it Wednesday anymore. So I offered my services for the Wednesday, uh, but they said they were only having one a week. So I'm not going back there. But it wouldn't be the same anyway, Scotty, because people move on, you see. it's It would be just the same as starting a brand new job. Different staff, different people, different manager. And you'd have to kind of get used to it all again. But that was that was uh, there, there were a few jobs that uh, there weren't that there are a few jobs that I've absolutely adored over the years and Belushi's in London Bridge and Hammersmith were two of them. Great people from all over the world mixing together in there, doing their thing, locals as well, coming up and singing and the energy in there was just amazing. There was always so much energy in London Bridge Belushi's, don't you think? from the customers and the staff as well. I loved it. I missed that so much. It was, was a fantastic team, Scott. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Eric says, do you have baked beans or pork and beans for breakfast? Eric, I'm vegetarian. Um, generally for breakfast, I have what I call, it, it, it's a dried oats breakfast, which is, is a jar. Okay, I'll, I'll do a video of it, actually. Next time, I, uh, I'll be too late now because I've already done mine for the next two days. But it's a large jar. At the bottom, fat-free yoghurt. Uh, then some dried porridge oats. Any porridge oats will do. Pour that in. Not the instant ones. You know, proper porridge oats. Then on top of that, um, blueberries. Then on top of that, fat-free yoghurt. Then on top of that, dried oats. Blueberries on the top. And then yoghurt right up the top there. Put the lid on. Just shake it. Don't shake it down. Don't go like that. You know, just... Knock it down so the yogurt goes into the oats, and you put it in the fridge. Twenty-four hours, forty-eight hours, seventy-two hours, two, one, two, one, two or three days is fine. Make sure the blueberries aren't about to go out of date because they're rank when they go out. Oh god, it's like eating bleach. Not that I've ever tried it. I mean, perhaps I'll try a cup of bleach live on air one day. Would you like me to do that? Eh? Make sure the blueberries aren't going to go out of date. Or, of course, the yoghurt in that time, you know, in the next three days. And then put it in the fridge. Uh, over over the period of time, one, two or three days, the yoghurt will seep into the oats. And then you take it out in the morning and you just put your spoon in and eat it. And it's absolutely delicious. It's a slim as world thing, that is. It's uh, apparently three, no sins in that. It's a slim as world meal. OK. Uh, morning to Adam the Plumber who I saw on his Facebook page. You can see him up there now. Uh, he put a Slimmer's World picture of him. It's him that got me into Slimmer's World. He he went to Slimmer's World and uh, Adam uh, was massive. He was, I don't know how many stones he was altogether. Tell us how, 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 how uh, I'll just say it, I'll just say it. Tell us how fat you were when you started, Adam, and how thin you are now, darling. Tell what, what, you're, what you were then and what you are now. But he, he weighed a lot. And he started going to Slimmer's World and he was so successful and I wanted to lose a bit of weight as well. Now, I have to say, and I always say this, if you are fat and you are happy with it, so be it. That's great. 
fantastic. You know, I don't take the mick out of fat people, ever. I don't. Okay? Um, but, I mean, if you are fat, just say fat. You don't have to say overweight or anything like that. You know, don't hide it. That's, that's the whole thing, you know. No need to hide anything. It's like, um, uh, uh, you know, if you're blind, you're blind. You know, you are not visually... Uh, you know what I mean, all that political correct stuff. Adam's on the phone now. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Chris. How are you? All right. I'm really well. Now, how fat were you when you started? I was 20 stone, Chris. OK, so Adam was 20 stone. You are now... I am now 15 stone, six pounds. He's lost Ooh. four and a half to five stone. That's just, yep. uh, it's just amazing. Now, I, I did actually weigh in when I first weighed in at Fleming Wells um, because I, I started on the 25th of January. That's when I started Fleming Wells. I started on the 25th of January. It was actually 20 stone in December. I wish you weren't on the amazing. iPhone 7. Sorry, is that any better now? You're on the iPhone 7, aren't you? I am. Is that better? <laughs> they are such crap phones. They really are. Carry on, mate. I can't, can't wait for my upgrade. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically, um, yes, when I was in December, in the December, I was, 20, I was 20 stone. So I managed to shed the half stone before I actually joined. Because I thought, right. oh, I'll lose a bit before I join, and then it won't look so bad. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, so, yes, I started at 19.7 uh, when I actually joined on the 25th of January. Um, yeah. So now I'm down to 15.6. 15, it's fantastic. And it's not hard, is it, really, Adam? It's, it's so easy. I mean, I'll, I'll give the viewers sort of what my daily sort of routine of food is. Yeah. Um, so I start off in the morning with a breakfast, which consists of scrambled eggs, one uh, dead animal sausage, Dead animal, you have, you have dead animals. You're a dead animal eater, aren't you, my love? I am a dead animal eater, actually. <laughs> I, must, I must actually put a complaint into this radio station, television, international oh, global Please station. stop moving the phone, love. Go on, carry on. I'm not moving the phone. You're it's in and out like to... you're in and out like there's no tomorrow. You really are. It's glued to, it's glued to my face. It's glued to my face. Anyway, I must I must make a complaint to this global and international um, television complex studio type radio show. The other day, you you uh, done a show and it was uh, gender neutral and uh, uh, wasn't oh, my, offend anybody. My, I... my gender neutral meal. Did you enjoy that, darling? Yes, that's it. Now this I this did, is. But I was most, I was most offended. I am a meat eater. I am a dead animal eater, and it did not have any dead animal in it. A <laughs> vegetable animal in it. I'm most offended. <laughs> I'm offended by that. You should have had dead animal. You should have a dead animal option as well. What about dead animal eaters? Oh, I can't hear you. <laughs> I'll ring you back on the other phone. No, it's all right, darling. That's a, I just wanted to to, to get your to get your weight loss. So it's, yeah. it's a massive four and a half, five, which which makes my one one stone four pounds very insignificant, really. But um, yeah. it, it is you who got me on it, you know, and I, I've been very pleased with, with with how the whole thing works. And I've, I've made some friends there as well at the group meeting as well. Yeah, you so. do make a lot of friends at Slimming World. I mean, I yeah. went on the, um, I, I discovered the sort of national Slimming World um, uh, Facebook page today. And I thought, sort of, well, well, if I post up my picture, um, you might you may have seen it on there. Um, there there's a picture yeah, I saw of me it. I saw and it. after. I saw it. I saw you on there. Yep. Yep. I mean, if you can, you're welcome to fly it on, to fly it in if you want to show the people. If you can do it with your technology, 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 lovey, technology. Yes, I have to do it on technology. another show. I'll, I'll get it up for another show. Yep, that's it. Um, and as I say, you know, so breakfast is uh, sausage, uh, scrambled eggs, baked beans, two bread. Lunch is normally a jacket potato, ham, beans, salad, and a couple of boiled eggs. And then dinner is normally uh, chicken, mashed potato, and mixed veg. Yeah, and then I have. A we don't go hungry, life. dear. We don't go hungry, mm -hmm. do we? No, we certainly don't go hungry. <laughs> well, that's, that's where a lot of people make the mistake. They buy one lettuce leaf, you know, one carrot, one oh, tomato, and they say so they're full. It, it all sounds a bit Weight Watchers to me. That diet, no, it thank does. you. Oh, please no, don't swear thank you. No, please don't swear, Chris. Don't swear. Don't, don't use the term Weight Watchers. Linda would go don't. mad if she heard me saying that. Linda, you cannot use you cannot use Slimming World in that W word no. in the same context. No, it's not allowed. Horrendous, dear. It's Horrendous. Against, <laughs> it's against the Slimming World Holy Grail. 
All right. Well, thank you very much for calling in, young Adam. Thank you, Chris. And, and say hello to go, your... Um, what's his name, that one you're with? Royston. Royston. Say hello to Royston for me. Is he there? I will do. He's not at the moment. I'll just do a quick plug, if I may. I'm down at my church today. Jerusalem Church says church. And we have an open day between 10 and 5. Oh, is it, was it a Christmas fate? Tree. Is it a fate with jams and things like that? Well, we have we have stalls with because um, because um, you know you know Teresa catches. Teresa May's in Japan. She's on this trade deal, which I just assumed. Right. She, so she got off the plane. Apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, mm. but a trade deal. I think what happens, she gets off the plane with her helpers. Yep. They set up mm -hmm. a trellis table and she sells her homemade jams and things like that. It's lovely, isn't it? Sounds nice. Yeah, to the Jam Japanese Jerusalem. Prime Minister. Wonderful, dear. Perhaps I bet I bet he gave her some sushi. Oh my God! I bet she weren't very That's pleased it. with that one, dear. Oh, vile Jam stuff! Jerusalem, all the way. Vile stuff. See you, Adam. Bye, bye, Chris. <laughs> Cheerio now. Bye, Adam. There you go. So he's lost nearly five stone. Slim as well. It's just amazing, isn't it? Really amazing. Okay, doke. Um, bum bum bum. Let me go back a bit. Uh, Eric's Irish but Scandinavian by DNA. DNA. Thank you. Greetings to Ian Ellis. Greetings, Ian. Hope you're well this morning. You've had a rough week. I've been watching your posts. Good morning, Ian. And uh, lovely. That's it. Now, uh, can I just tell you, so where have we got to? Uh, where do Ryman's drop me batteries off? I had a conversation in there with the, with, with the uh, manager in Ryman's. I can't, I can't remember what we're talking about now for the life of me. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, then I went to uh, Morrison's. I got my corn steaks. I go to Morrison's. They're only £2.50 there. They're £3 in Waitrose, £2.70 in Sainsbury's. You see, I'm starting to get a bit savvy with my shopping. Now, that's only just started happening. I used to just get the trolley and round around wherever I was. Now I'm realising, well, that's cheaper there and that's cheaper there and that's cheaper there. So I got those from Morrison's, £2.50. Now, they only had three left. So that's a saving of bing, £1.50. Let's work out how much I've saved. Thank you very much. £1.50. From there, I cycled down to uh, Audi, which is probably my closest supermarket, Audi. And I got my fat-free yogurts, 59 pence each. Usual price here were well, the ones in Morrison and Sainsbury's and Waitrose. They're a pound each. So that's 59. So it's, uh, say it's 60. 78, that's 40 pence, 40, 80, 120. So £2.40 saved on my fat-free yogurts. I bought some corn cubes. They're frozen for a, 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 a future meal. They were £1.49 each. Usually two pounds in other places, and I bought six of those, so that's one fifty. That's, that's, that's three pounds saved there. Thank you very much. I bought my wet wipes, toilet wipes. Oh, I like those. Oh, it's lovely to be clean and fresh. Are you still only using rough old toilet paper? Oh no! Upgrade yourself to moist toilet tissue. You but but don't flush it. Don't flush it. It must go in the bin, preferably outside the house, dear. Outside the house, moist toilet tissues. Again, Audi, 59 pence, usually a pound somewhere, so we'll call it 60. And I bought four of those, so that's 48. Uh, one, that's 40, 120, 160. What else did I bought? Uh, bananas in there, and I think that was all. Was there something else? One moment, please. No, that's it, and that's what I... So today I have saved... 6, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, 8... 8 pounds, 50 pence! Thank you very much. And see, I only did a little bit of shopping. You can see how places like Audi and Little... And my niece, oh, she's really hot. We're, oh, she's hot. Number one, she's hot, as in, Wow. Yeah, when I show my straight young male friends pictures of, wow, who's that? Cool, I'd like, that's my niece. Oh, right, okay, she's, she's pretty, she is. Like a... <laughs> she's pretty and beautiful. She's got three children of her own now. Yeah, that's uh, George, Emily, and um, who's the new one? Little one, uh, Jimmy, J uh, James, rather, James. So she's got three little children now. Uh, she's hot and she's hot on prices. She knows to the penny how much stuff is costing and where it comes from. She does most of her shopping in Audi. And um, you see, I mean, I saved £8.50 just on, on, on a small amount of shopping. You can see how much people are saving now by going to these places, can't you? I mean, if you don't mind it a little bit, 
I mean, it's all right in there. A bit rough and ready kind of thing, if you see what I mean. I don't mean, well, well there are rough people in there, dear. <laughs> there are, you know, I put my shades on so that no one can recognise me while I'm in there. But the staff are okay. They're always busy, busy, busy. You know, don't expect you'll get much help because they're always doing something. Um, so that's that's the Audi. Uh, but I went in, and so I got my stuff in there, came back here, and uh, and here I am. I watched a bit of telly this morning as well. I'm very pleased to see the brand new series of Can't Pay Well, Take It Away, is now on the telly. And I found out last night from Gustav, actually, that one of the people in Can't Pay Well, Take It Away was a doorman at Heaven Nightclub, where I used to DJ. So I'm going to send him a message. And um, I, I, I must have spoken to him at some point while I was working at Heaven. I must have done. Was it Paul? No, it wasn't Paul. It was one of one of the old fellas. There were three. There's three old fellas in it. Two white ones and a black one. Black one's not well. I don't think he's well at all. That one. He's got something wrong with him. I can't remember what it was now. Uh, then there's Paul, and then there's the other one. It's the other one, who apparently used to work uh, uh, as a doorman in heaven while I was DJing here. So that's an excellent. So I was watching a bit of that, and um, oh, it was terrible. One bloke, not not the. Not the High Court Enforcement Officers. One of the people that they're trying to get money from uh, because he owes loads of money, he, he falsified a letter. Get this. He falsified a letter, an old letter, from a doctor saying that he had cancer. I mean, you wouldn't do that, would you? Don't you think you're just asking for, like, karma there? You I, mean, I couldn't believe it. He thought, apparently it was an old letter <clears throat> and he changed the date at the top. So it sounds like he had cancer at some point and was cleared of it. But then when they came, he, he gave them a letter and the date had been changed at the top of it, saying that he still had cancer. You wouldn't do that, would you? Awful. Awful. So there was that. And there was another man who said, don't come in this house, I'm mad. Anyway, they're in the house. He said, leave the house. And then he's got a knife and he's trying to stab one of them. God, I wouldn't be doing that job. So the new series of Can't Pay Well Take That Away is now on Channel 5 uh, one night at about 9 or 10 o'clock. I think it's either Wednesday, Thursday or... Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, one of those nights. Excellent. Uh, I, I watched the first episode on All On 5 Demand or whatever it's called. So that was it. Uh, so can I just tell you about uh, starting Monday... Every Monday at 10 o'clock, I'm doing a brand new music and chat show on the radio. Boys and girls, it's on the radio. Now, if you're out of area, because it's local radio, if you're out of area, you'll be able to listen online as well. Uh, it's Upload Radio, U-P-L-O-A-D. Now, you may remember uh, a few months ago, I was doing the chat show on there, but I found it a bit restrictive, to be honest. Um saying, telling long stories, as I do, and given a time slot to do that in, I found, I didn't find it difficult, I did it, but I, I found it a bit too restricted, and I have to finish a story before I'd finish telling it, whereas when I come on Facebook, like, we can just talk for hours, can't we? You know, it's not like I'm here for, like, exactly 45 minutes. Sometimes it goes over an hour. Sometimes it's half an hour. And, and I found it a bit restrictive. However, um, I kind of miss doing a music and chat show. I used to do them. I used to host uh, a show on Liberty Radio in London. That's uh, quite some time ago, 1999 to 2000, that was. And I did 2 till 6.30 a.m. So I did the graveyard shift. I enjoyed doing that. I've done various internet radio uh, stations as well. And I haven't done a music and chat show for quite a few years now. So I'm doing a new one and it's on Mondays. Now, the music will be from all time. OK, from 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. I've got three features on there every Monday. At 10.15, you'll get the Manalo Magic. OK, at 10.30, that just after the break or just before the break, you'll get a classical piece, but you will know it. 
You'll know the clip. It won't be like, you know, a whole concert on like on Radio 3 that you've never heard the music. Oh, what's all this? I don't know. Where. It will be stuff like the 1812 over. Land of Hope and Glory that I sang for you at the beginning of the show and stuff like that. You will know the tune. Beautiful. I think actually on Monday's show, I've got Chopin's, one of Chopin's piano concertos. You know that one? Dun, 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 that one. You know, the sad one. That's on Monday's show. And at 10.45, we'll be having the mirable moment, which is like a ballad. Or as well as the music, I'll be talking in between the tunes, giving you little stories, a little bit like this, but with music. Some of the stories this week you will already have heard, OK? I have to tell you that from la from this week's chat shows. So we're kind of recycling them for that show. But usually they will all be different ones, right? But for this week... Uh, uh, you'll, you'll probably have heard some of the stories, OK? And I've got a very good story on Monday's show for you, actually, uh, about an idea they've got in Russia. If you don't, when you die, if you don't want to be buried or cremated, the Russians have come up with another idea. That's on the show on Monday. You can find it on Upload Radio. Now, that's on DAB in L South London and Surrey. So if you've got a DAB set... Do a rescan in case it doesn't appear. If you're in southwest London or Surrey, parts of Berkshire or all around that area, it's on DAB there, 10 o'clock Monday morning. It's also in Liverpool, Chester and Wrexham, again, 10 o'clock in the morning, Monday. And also in Gloucestershire, 10 o'clock Monday morning. So if you've got DAB and you're in one of those areas, you can listen on the radio. If not, you can find it online at uploadradio.com. Have a look now. You have a look there now. Uh, take might take you a, a couple of minutes to find your way around. Uh, if you go to Monday schedules, you'll see my show in there for 10 o'clock Monday morning. And that will be every Monday morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, with Upload Radio, you kind of get the slot. You might not get the slot next time. But I uploaded the show to them. The show's already done, OK? I uploaded the show to them and the governor there sent me a message saying, oh, nice to have you back, Chris. We thought we forgot we you'd lost us. We'd lost you. Nice to have you back. Um, he he's listened to the show, uh, so that's all okay. And he said, I hear that you want to do the Monday mornings at 10 o'clock, so I've reserved them right the way through to the end of October so you can see how you go, and uh, they'll be there for you if you want them. So how fantastic is that? So it's every morning at 10 o'clock, my brand-new uh, music and chat show, okay? Uh, good morning to Ray Reynolds. Good morning, Ray, who says, sorry, I missed the start of the show. Uh, oh, you can listen back to the start because I am doing a little version of Land of Hope and Glory for you this morning. Love the Chris cooking spot yesterday. Maybe you could do it Saturday mornings when we could have your cooking on BBC One Colour. ITV and you, I like it. I, do you know, I'm not a fan of cooking shows, Ray. I'm really not. But people like them. So now and again, I, I do like to do one. He says, how TV has changed since Noel Edmonds' Swap Shop and Tiz was. I like Swap Shop. Do you remember the tune? Swap Shop. Noel Edmonds. Great Radio 1 DJ, Noel Edmonds. Uh, although I gather his new show, he's got a new show, hasn't he, on Channel 4, a new game show. It's not doing, uh, the, the people are not, aren't, not liking it. Was it Cheap, Cheap, Cheap or something like that? I haven't seen it yet, so I can't comment, but people I'm talking to are not liking that at all. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So there we are. Uh, we used to get pop and good music acts for almost three hours. Yes, we did. Saturday morning, stuff like Tiz Was, Swap Shop, you'd have... Uh, Noel Edmonds was sitting at a desk a little bit like me with a phone. He'd, you could call him up. He'd have special guests on there. You'd have a pop group come in and do a few numbers. It was wonderful. Now, a cooking show. You know, how to make another cake. I mean, how many cakes can you make for God's sake? Too many cooking shows on the telly. There really is. Um, uh, how TV, uh, instead of cooking. Isn't it annoying how TV copies each other's ideas and show them at the same time? Well, they do, don't they? They do. It's awful. Good morning to Roden. Ah, oh, Roden. Hello, sir. I love your England flag suit. Love it. Thank you very much. This was a present from uh, non-Irish Mary. In Ireland uh, a few months ago, I'm wearing this at the last night of the proms next Saturday, which I'm very much looking forward to. Hello, Rod Roden. It's nice to see you, sir. You're very popular. You are. You're you're singing. Often people come back and tell me, um, is that is that man coming back to sing at all? So there we are. 
Okie doke. Uh, I'm going to do today's birthdays. We haven't really got time for any news stories today. Ten past one. How have I managed to talk for 45 minutes non-stop? I, I had a load of stories lined up, but we haven't got to them. Never mind. Let's do today's uh, birthdays. And then I'm going to have my dinner. I've got my last bit of my um, uh, my uh, spaghetti uh, arabata. I think I've said it right. Arabata sauce. Uh, which I'm, I might have it with rice instead of spaghetti today, which is quite nice. Happy birthday today to Paul Wurzel Shirley. Happy birthday, Paul, sir. Love the picture. Is that Mrs. Um, Mrs. Uh, oh, who is that? That Mrs. Mrs. Brown in your profile picture. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy birthday to the lovely Orlando Bolt. 31 today. You come and sing for me sometimes. Are you still working at Two Brewers? I think, Orlando. Happy birthday to you, sir. Okay. Happy birthday today to Aidan Cooper. 16 today. Happy birthday, Aidan. Marvin Hester is 35 years old today. That's a great picture of you there, Marvin. Look very good looking in that picture. Who won who knows? One day in real life you might be just as good looking. <laughs> I jest. Happy birthday, Marvin. Uh, Alan Hooper. Hello, Alan. 39 years old today. And Cheryl Torrance. It's her birthday as well today. So uh let's do the song gang. There's a delay there, there's a gap there. Dead air, dead air, dear, dead air. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Paul, Orlando, Aidan, Marvin, Alan and Cheryl. Happy birthday to you. All right. Thanks very much to those of you who have been sharing the uh, show to your wall as well this morning. That's always much appreciated. Uh, I'll disappear now. Have a lovely day. Uh, tomorrow night, Sunday night, it's our big karaoke night at the Camden Eye. OK, the Camden Eye in Camden Town. Come out of the tube station, walk across the road and you're in there. That's every Sunday between 8 and uh, 11 o'clock, sort of 10.45 time. There we usually finish, all right? So that's tomorrow night and every Sunday. Have a nice Saturday and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye now.